Hi, good afternoon. This is Dr. Parijat Kumar, Director of International Sports and Orthopedic Manual Therapy. I hope you enjoyed our today's shoulder treatment virtual lab. Welcome to our quiz, post lab quiz and the answers for that. If you have any questions and concerns, you can email us at isorehab at the rate gmail.com. So let's keep going. I hope you enjoyed the lab and you performed good grades in your quiz. So this is, these are the answers for the today's shoulder treatment lab quiz. All right, here we go. So the first question was, which of the following statement is incorrect? It was an anatomical structural problem, uh, question for scapula. The vertebral border of scapula is three inches away from the spinous process. That is a correct on, uh, that is a correct option. But the correct answer to this question is that superior angle of scapula at T4, no. The superior angle of scapula is actually at T2 level. So the scapula is from T2 to T7. So the incorrect answer or the answer to this question is second option, superior angle of scapula at T4. That is not right. Another question, which of the following statement is incorrect regarding the anterior glide medial rotation syndrome? Uh, all the options are correct. The incorrect is that you don't have pain with horizontal abduction or abduction when you lie and you do a horizontal abduction you don't have pain in the agmr rotation syndrome next the patient is tested for the agmr or the anterior glide medial rotation in standing position active external rotation is performed in standing the scapula moves in the first 25 degrees of external rotation so if your scapula is moving in the first 25 degrees of external rotation that means that the scapula is being pulled towards the spine and that will actually show dominant rhomboids. So the correct answer is dominant rhomboids. Which muscle length, next question, will you not test for AGMR or the anterior glide medial rotation? The correct answer is serratus anterior. Serratus anterior muscle length is not being checked in this particular syndrome. Which muscle is not strengthened with pivot prone exercises? So when you're prone and doing those pivot exercises, the falling muscles are not strengthened. It's actually the rhomboids. The rhomboids are not strengthened with the pivot prone exercises. Next question, which statement is incorrect with your home exercise program education? All of them are correct. The third option which says that raise the armrest of the chair so that the hips are below knee. That is our incorrect answer. Your hips cannot be below the knee. So you, you cannot raise the armchair over there uh, as far as the home exercise program education is concerned. Next question that, yeah, this is a very important regional interdependence question. Which muscle becomes hypertonic with third and fourth rib dysfunction? If you know your muscle attachment, so pec minor, third and fourth attaching to the coracoid process. If pec minor becomes hypertonic, it can pull the coracoid process forward. And this happens because of your third and fourth rib dysfunctions. All right, so the correct answer is first option, pec minor. What is the direction of force in the sternoclavicular manipulation? So when we are performing the sternoclavicular manipulation, I raise my arm, I perform the sternoclavicular manipulation, my direction is posteromedial which is it, it can be towards the opposite hip or it is towards the posteromedial direction. That is a correct option. Second option. Next question. What is the direction of thrust for AC joint manipulation? So the AC joint manipulation thrust was in this way. And if you see this action, I'm performing an up and forward, up and forward. So that is the second option. That is the correct answer for the thrust manipulation of AC acromioclavicular joint. Next question again related to the AGMR, anterior glide medial rotation. Which muscle MMT is not performed? Again, the same answer, it is serratus anterior. Serratus anterior will not be performed in the AGMR uh, syndrome of the shoulder. The next question guys were the bonus question. As you know, we have bonus questions, bonus questions in all our labs. This was a pelvic lab that we did last time. And the question was that the therapist, when they perform a pelvic assessment of a 22-year-old female with acute sacral pain, the findings were sacral base deep on the right, inferior isla prominent on the right, sitting flexion positive on the right, standing flexion positive on the right. And it's a quite simple 
question and a simple diagnosis. It's a case study kind of a diagnosis. So everything is positive on the right. It's simple. Right sacral base is deep and the isla is prominent. So the correct answer is right sacral unilateral flexion. The fourth option. All right. Another question related to the shoulder. Which movement happens at the bilateral terminal elevation of the shoulder? Now, if you can perform this, if you don't know the answer, guys, try to perform it and it's very common sense questions. If you perform bilateral shoulder elevation, it's actually the thoracic extension. So you need thoracic extension for bilateral shoulder elevation as well as the shoulder external rotation. So please be careful and try to treat the patients in the regional interdependent way, just not the shoulder. Please see the neck, thoracic spine, ribs, and your shoulder patients will be better for long term. All right. I hope you enjoyed today's lab shoulder treatment. Again, if you have any questions and concerns, you please let us know. Please provide your feedback and suggestion. Sometimes we do have technical errors, so it becomes difficult for us to timely give you the certificates. But we promise we'll give you the certificates if you really pass the quiz. Uh, we apologize for any delay. Just let us know your full name. And if there is any feedback or suggestions, you please let us know. We will hope to provide more ethical based and evidence based knowledge in manual therapy to you once again this is dr parijat kumar director of international sports and orthopedic manual therapy keep learning and improving lives thank you